one of the challenging things that you do when you work with animals, guys, is to gather them together, to put them in the barn. Kasi yung iba dyan, mabilis tumakbo, yung iba nagtatago. So, kailangan mabilis ka rin tumakbo. It will really test your patience and your understanding with these animals. And yun, medyo mahirap pero kaya para sa ekonomiya ng bayan. What's up mga kagiliw? It's me Chester, your Pinoy countryman here in New York. Um, today, I'm going to show you some videos and probably some pictures regarding um, how to ship shear or paano... Uh, sorry, because I have a tea. Um, anyways, yeah. uh, I'll show you some videos kung paano ginugupitan yung, um, yung tupa or the sheep and other than that I'll also show you uh, the person who do the sheep shearing mamamanga ka kasi uh, gaano siya kalakas and yung human empowering aspect so yun um, just relax and just enjoy the video guys Reminders, no animals were harmed in the making of this episode. Come here, Mingo. So this is Mingo, a donkey. What are you saying? So ito yung buhay namin, I mean, ito yung buhay nasa farm, countryside. And with Mingo. Basically, guys, these are just uh, use yung ram na sa Oh my god! Napasalikod. Yung nasa likod ko kanina, nakawala. Supposed to be dito sila. farm boy and I'll show you later kung paano sila ginugupitan and hindi ako yung gugupit and alam niyo yung gugupit guys babae and you know it's really a, a, a woman or a women empowerment kasi kaya niya kaya niya yung buwatin yung bigat ng mga mga rams and mules na ito and I'll show you that later on this video one minute, 37 seconds later. So, yun guys. Um, basically, these are the rams. Ito yung mga lalaki. Konti lang sila kasi sila yung mga <laughs> propagator or the one who do the impregnation with all those ewes. Although, yung ewes na yun, mix pa siya kasi may mga batang ram or should I say mga lalaki so hindi pa sila nahiwalay sa nanay nila and yun medyo aggressive to sila <laughs> kaya naninindak minsan inaano nila yung paa nila 
Pero basically they're they're friendly. It's just that you know the alpha male, the masculinity of them. They usually show it na as if na tinatakot tayo. Pero ayun. Ayun. One hour later. So basically, ito yung mga tag nito yung book nila na na nagupit. Um, yan. Binilad mo na kasi basa so yan. Sa kanan siguro to dadalin sa manufacturer or I mean uh, company na. Naglilinis nito. So, they, 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 they'll bleach this. Clean it up. So, from... Tawag nito. Bali, yung nagupitan ay 125 na 
use and rum so male and female marami rami din yan so mga basa pa mga basa pa yung mga ito yan It's me again, Chester. Um, maybe some of you are wondering or have a question in their mind kung bakit ginugupitan yung, yung mga tupa or yung sheep. Um, primary reason would be um, for their own hygiene. Kasi, kasi ju during the whole course of the year, um, yung fleece nila or yung, uh, yung skin or... How do you call that one? Yeah, the, the fleece. Um, yung manure or the urine. Uh, Nagbi build up. Or, you know, the, the, the whole year, the whole course of the year, yung, yung dumi, yung ihi, dumi dikit sa balat nila. And it creates a lot of. Uh, um, parasites so much so that um, they're they, it's harmful for them it creates um, probably a, a viral disease and you know it's not really healthy for them so kung di mo siya gugupitan um, kasi usually pag nabasayan I even I even have a first-hand experience na pag nabasa yung yung fleece nila during rain, rainy season um, since very moist yun uh, nagkakaroon ng maggots yung under underneath their skin and then so much so that uh, nag, yung maggot or yung maggots um, gumagawan or create ng sugat and then the sheep um, has the infection and then magtataka ka medyo nangangamoy yung sheep and at the same time nanghina sila so really um, we really have to to shear them and other than that um, it also help e enhances the regrowth of their hair the, 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 the young one or the young fiber of their hair which is very important kasi during summer which is very mainit um, pag di mo sila ginugupitan uh, nanghihina sila it's like uh, when you it's like in the Philippines way back in the Philippines if you wear a lot of jackets and then which is not suited really for the season or the, the temperature so parang mainit yung nagsisweat ka so it's the same thing that we, we, we experience and then other than that yung, yung fleece naman hindi siya nasasayang hindi siya patapon kasi we, we use them as a mittens or I mean as a yarn to make a mittens um, coats and then um, gloves and then yung sa uh, ulo yung covering sa ulo during winter so it's really helpful and other than that it also it generates income and not just income but you know um, uh, work for those people who manufacture this yarn who clean this yarn so yun it's very helpful guys so not just really helpful helpful for the sheep or the tupa but also to the people who depend on this fleece and kaya 
importante siya not just to animal but also for human and yun and I hope guys you learn something from this video and then although ako rin mismo at first I was manghang mangha ako when I saw it and other than that this woman who shared the hair of this sheep uh, you know the, the woman empowerment and gaano siya kalakas and in some way or another I was really fascinated on her her name is Gwen and she works I mean matagal na niyang it's, it's a family business um, her dad does this thing so almost the whole state in New York no sorry the whole state in the United States so every now and then nag, nag uh, pumupunta siya sa ibang states just to share the the sheep and other animals that needed to be shared off so yun guys and thank you very much for watching the video and i hope you like share this video and also comment and thank you very much for watching and again i hope to see you on my next one bye bye for now